tile. Today we're going to be looking at using those straight lines that we've been using so far for the past week um, to try and actually solve an equation. So this one looks quite complicated. Um, we've got a situation where we've got um, 2x minus 3 is equal to negative 4. What I'm going to do is deconstruct this question. Because what we're used to seeing for equations of lines is that y equals those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull apart either side of that equation and come up with two different things. The first one being y equals 2x minus 3 and the other being when y is equal to negative 4. Because we're looking for the place where these are equal, what we're actually looking for is the y and x coordinates that make these the same. So I can say that y is equal to both of these things at the same time. The first one of these lines is slightly more complicated to draw, but the second one should be quite easy. We need a y equals negative 4 line. That is a horizontal line that crosses through negative 4. So I'm going to draw that one in on my axes. The second one is 2x minus 3. This means it's got a y-intercept of a minus 3 in the form y equals mx plus c and I've got a gradient of 2. So to plot this one I'm going to do it the cheats way as opposed to doing it with my table but feel free to do that if you would like to. It crosses through negative 3 and this gradient means for 1 across I go 2 up. So I'm going to go 1 across and 2 up one across and two up. And now I've got a few points, all I'm going to do is connect those up. So if I connect those like this, that is my line. I've now got to find where these two things are equal. The place that they're equal is their point of intersection, this point here. Now it should have been relatively straightforward just from what we can see here to figure out that y in this coordinate should be negative 4 because I'm on that line where y is negative 4. The only difficult part is figuring out where this is. Now my scale is not perfect on this graph but I'm hoping that we can see that we are at negative 0 0.5. So if I'm solving the equation that means that x must be equal to minus 0.5. That is the x value that solves this. Let's try another. This one's slightly more difficult because I've now got to deconstruct two things that are slightly more difficult to, to talk about. So I've got y equals 2x minus 4 and I've got y equals 1 half x minus 1. I'm going to draw these in two different colours, so I'm going to go for blue for this one here. So 2x minus 4, very similar to the last one, I'm going through minus 4 for my y-intercept and my gradient is 2 again. So I go across 1 up 2, across 1 up 2 and I get a line that looks like this. So this is from the same family as the line we drew before, but it's been shifted down to cross at minus 4 instead of crossing at minus 3. Let's have a look at the next one then. This one is going to cross through negative 1 as its y-intercept and it's going to have a gradient of a half. This is slightly more difficult to draw because for every 1 across I need to go half up. That's not particularly accurate because of our scale so if I go 1 across and another half up I end up for every 2 across going a whole 1 up. So my line should look something like this. The point where these cross is just here. It's the point of intersection. That's where these two lines are the same as each other. This is at the x coordinate 2 and the y coordinate 0. So to solve this equation, which is what we've been asked to do, we're only after the x coordinate because that's all that's in this equation. So the answer is x equals 2. I think that is pretty much it for
for today. So, all we're going to be looking at now is task 217 on Hegarty Maths. So that's task 217. You'll have lots of questions like these ones where you need to draw the graphs. It is, of course, possible to do this with algebra, but the graphs is our focus for today. Please make sure you're getting over 70% just to make sure that you understand it and we can move on for tomorrow's lesson. Otherwise, stay safe and email us if you need us.